everyone, welcome to England. I'm here somewhere near Goodwood, in between Goodwood and Chichester. Of course, we're here for the Goodwood Festival of Speed. Unfortunately, today is Saturday, the festival has been cancelled. But my mini friends had a surprise for me in store, so I'm not gonna have a day off. Instead, I'm gonna be driving this very special new mini. This is the Mini John Cooper Works 126. So you might be wondering, What's one, two, six? Are there only six units available? What does it mean? Well, it really stands for the six speed manual in this car and I'm going to explain why. But first of all, let's start with how many units are going to be available globally. So 999 units of this particular car will be available worldwide. About a hundred of them are going to Germany. And that's quite important for one reason. I just found out today that if you live in Germany, you're not able to actually spec the mini JCW with a six speed manual. So if you're looking for that six speed transmission, this is your only option. Of course, it's a mini John Cooper works and overall they haven't changed much. It does come with a very special paint. This is called Midnight Black Metallic and you can see it's got a really nice black top look overall, very sporty and I'm going to talk about that in a second. So let's start once again with the overall design. Typical Mini design, of course, this is still the previous generation. We're gonna get a new Mini Cooper in the future, but for now, this is still their benchmark when it comes to fun and sports cars. So, Midnight Black, of course, they decided to add some piano black trims all around. You can see it there and there as well. It does a really nice contrast against the paint. Once again, the idea is to be some sort of a stealth car, something that you don't think it's gonna go fast, but it really does, and we're gonna try that today. Black towel wheels, 18 inch, I believe they're jet black circuit alloy wheels, and of course you have the John Cooper Works red calipers right there. A bunch of inscriptions to show the one to six edition of the car. And if you look a little bit closer right there, that's actually the diagram for a six speed manual or for a manual transmission, not necessarily six speed. So a really nice touch. And of course you can see that on the hood and I'm gonna show it to you in another spot as well. So you can see this one right there and you can touch it actually, it's on top of the paint. And of course, right there on top of the roof as well. So little few touches, you know, they will tell you this is a very special car. I guess the same thing in the back. If we take a look here, we do have the same thing. The manual transmission, the six speed diagram right there. And then of course, once again, you have the same theme with the diagram on top of the paint. But overall, once again, this is just your typical mini JCW and there were no other mechanical changes done to the car. So let's talk about that. 2.0 liter four cylinder engine makes 231 horsepower, 320 Newton meters of torque, enough to go from zero to 100 kilometers per hour in 6.3 seconds. Of course, we're gonna test the car on some of these curvy roads here. I'm an American, so coming to England, it's not always easy driving on the right or wrong side of the street. I'm not sure, uh, but luckily this one has a left hand drive, so it makes my life a little bit easier. Pricing. There is no pricing for Germany yet, but in the US it starts at $45,300. So it is available starting in September and you can order the car probably today in multiple markets. So. Enough said, I guess the most fun part when it comes to me is really getting behind the wheel. So let's do that and let's go for a ride. All right, so here I am behind the wheel of the Mini John Cooper Works 1 to 6 edition. Once again, I'm in England, I'm on the left side of the road. It's always taken me a little bit of time to get adjusted, but I've been here for a couple of days right now, so I should be a lot better at driving this car, especially since it has the left hand drive, which makes my life a little bit easier than the right hand drive. So. Once again, Mini John Cooper works, no difference there when it comes to the mechanics and the engineering of the car. But of course, this is a special edition that you can get with a six speed manual. So let's start with that. First of all, I am quite pleased that you can still spec a Mini today with a six speed manual and especially this particular six speed manual because compared to some of the other sports cars out there and even some of the BMWs out there, this one doesn't have the very short and stubby lever. It's got this really nice long one. And the reason why I like this one, it's because it's a lot more engaging when it comes to shifting your own gears and how you feel the car responding to that. 
The six speed gear ratios are closely spaced and they match the character of the engine quite well. You can feel that torque being delivered at all time in any gear and that tells me right there that Mini has done quite some work to make sure that the character of the six speed manual matches the character of the Mini JCW. Of course, because of the six-speed manual, the car is quite engaging. It's also helped by the fact that this is a lightweight car by today's standards. It only weighs around 2,500 pounds, which translates to nearly 1,300 kilos. And if you look at some of the hot hatchbacks today, or even some of the sports cars today, this is something that you don't usually see. And you feel that on the road. Even on those nice little twisty roads, even though I'm not traveling at high speeds, I can still feel that this is a very highly engaged car. So at all time, you can feel what the car wants to do. You can feel that front end. Naturally, it's a front wheel drive and you're getting that go-kart, the iconic mini go-kart feeling. And it's even more obvious in the JCW, mostly because I can do this. I can go right now in the sports settings. I was in the mid and now the car just turns into a little beast. Everything has been tuned up instantly. I can feel the steering feedback being a lot more aggressive, a lot heavier, and at the same time, the suspension seems to travel over this road quite well. And you're feeling the road. So you can see right here, as I'm pushing the car in these corners, it is quite responsive. That 231 horsepower comes to life instantly. And of course, because I'm in the sport mode, everything has been dialed up. So the suspension is stiffer. There is a lot more feedback coming from the road through the steering. And you just feel every single one of those horsepower going through the front wheel. It's really tough to describe this feeling sometimes, the go-kart feeling, unless you really go behind the wheel of a Mini, because that's something that's been iconic in Mini products for decades, and that's something that the company always takes pride in. So if you want to experience that go-kart feeling, it is always best not to listen to someone like me or other reviewers, but to really get behind the wheel and see it for yourself. If I were to describe the Mini John Cooper works in a few words, I would always say this. It has that race car personality, it is fierce, it is aggressive, and it is nimble at the same time. You're getting those jitters specific to racing cars. You can also feel the car being quite stiff and revved up. And that's something that you don't usually get in any other Mini product. Regardless if you're getting a special edition Mini JCW or just the regular Mini John Cooper Works, you're still going to get the same very lightweight and nimble driving experience. I tend to describe the Mini John Cooper Works to people that are close to me as being my alter ego. It's a very, very playful car in contrast to, let's say, my daily personality. So every time that I go behind the wheel of a Mini, and especially the Mini JCW, I feel like that alter ego just comes to life because the car definitely puts a smile on my face. And even though I'm on unfamiliar territory here, unfamiliar roads, nonetheless, I have some fun with the car because it can do this. That power delivery, it is so good from this B48. Mini has managed to really amp up the torque on this one to match the character of the car. As I said, it's got 320 newton meters of torque. Of course, the 0 to 60 might not be as impressive in other sports cars, but you don't really feel like the car is sluggish at all because this car, it's not meant to be fast in a straight line. This car is meant to be fast in corners. This car is meant to be a playful toy. It's supposed to be a weekend toy. Of course, you can still use it as a daily driver and I encourage you to do so because you can, of course, go into the green setting, for example, and the car becomes a lot more domesticated, more docile and easier to drive as your you know, daily driver if you want to put it that way. But you can go into sport and you can feel that boost rising up, suspension stiffens up, steering feedback, it's great. Honestly, there are very few cars that I drove recently that gives me the same type of steering feedback as this one does. And of course, that's something that I truly appreciate because the Mini John Cooper works. It's a car for the enthusiasts. It's a car for people that enjoy driving. So it's not necessarily 
looking to offer you a very calm and sophisticated driving experience but rather one that resembles one of a race car so don't be surprised when you go behind the wheel of a mini john cooper works if you're getting those jitters if you're feeling that suspension bouncing all the time and listen to that sound by the way here we go feels so light so so light on its feet unbelievable of course we got to watch the speed limit we're still below the speed limit but you saw how quickly it managed to accelerate the shifting is great i absolutely love the gear ratios on this one i've said it before but they're definitely my favorite compared to let's say other six-speed manuals that i drove recently of course inside there are many changes in this special edition you are getting some alcantara seats with fabric on the side a really nice combination of gray and kind of dark gray right there i do love the side bolsters they're quite nice especially when you're going for some spirited drives but then again no surprise there you've seen those in other mini john cooper works models as well if you look on the dashboard, you will see the same manual type of diagram that's on the dashboard and also on the left side right here. And of course you have the one to six emblems inscriptions on both sides to denote that this is a special edition Mini. You will soon see the next generation Mini. Unfortunately, I can't talk about it today but very very soon at the end of july we will be able to give you an insight on what's coming especially when it comes to the interior design and you might like some of the things that you will see of course it's quite refreshing that you're able to get this analog type of cabin in a car today and i truly enjoy just playing with the switches and the knobs and all of that because that's something that you don't really get to do in many cars today of course, some people might say, well, you know, I'm still able to get a mini JCW with a six-speed manual. I can spec the car in different ways. What's so special about this one? If you're looking just at the US market, that's probably true. But if you're looking at the European market, like in Germany, where you're not able to get a mini John Cooper Works with a six-speed manual, this might be the only option. Once again, I'm back on some of these country roads here. Not much traffic, so a little bit more breathing room to push the car. Once again, I'm in the sport mode, so I can feel every little thing in the road, and that's something that I truly enjoy. It keeps me engaged and connected with the car, and that's something that I truly appreciate, especially when I want to have some fun on the weekends. Overall, this is a very, very fun car. Of course, if you want to have a special edition, something that maybe one day will become a collectible because they're only making 999 units. This is something that you should be looking at. I'm not sure exactly how many units are coming to the US, but with only 100 going to Germany, I would expect the US to get a few hundred units as well. So it will be quite, quite rare to see on the road. And I have a feeling that this will become a classic car in the future. This is something that you will see in a mini or BMW museum in the future. And of course, manuals are going away so there aren't many options out there especially from bmw group you already know that they're moving away from manuals especially going towards electrification mini it's heading towards electrification as well but for now they are still offering mini manuals and i have a feeling that in the future they might be offering some more special edition models with a six-speed manual because why not as long as the brand can offer their six-speed manual as long as there are enough people buying the six-speed manual why not build some special edition cars that you can get to drive and enjoy? So I'm gonna leave you with this. Not only this is a special edition Mini John Cooper Works, but this is also the same Mini that aims to please you. It's a car that will remind you how fun driving can actually be. It's a car that has a soul because we keep hearing this thing all the time. Electric cars have no soul, they can be boring. Well, this car is quite the opposite of that. So if you're in the market for a fun, hot hatchback, then I would strongly advise you to look at the new Mini 1 to 6 edition. Once again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.